so so far we have seen a uh, devops in detail and uh, uh, now we will put all pieces together and uh, try to understand uh, uh, everything in one uh, from one in infographic so let's uh, summarize all the details that we have learned uh, so far in devops so if you look into the left most portion of left most portion of uh, this uh, slide uh, so there you'll find your project insights so initially uh, you have to you should know what all project insights such as uh, project status what all backlogs are in work in progress and build status dashboard etc etc on other side if you look into the rightmost uh, portion of this infographic uh, you will find an artifact uh, registry a private artifact registry so any private uh, and you get npm maven packages can be kept uh, here and be stored from artifacts uh, feed while development and then build process uh, taking place so these are the primary requirements uh, making an artifact uh, registry and uh, so that you can uh, store the you can publish the artifacts there so these are the primary re requirements now we will look into the overall uh, flow of the devops from customer till production so we will begin with the customer so customer has come up with a requirements now these requirements will be converted as a backlog by the business analyst and then product owner and once uh, these were uh, converted into the backlog now it's time for engineering team uh, to to uh, do the planning of sprint and capacity after that it will go to the test engineers then test engineers uh, do the test planning they'll start uh, making the test planning and once engineering team and then test engineering team both has planned for the sprint and then their capacity planning and test planning now it is time for developers to pick uh, developers to pick a uh, backlog items or bugs from Kanban boards uh, or work items and start development. So then the developer finishes off the code and send the code for pull request and collaborate with code reviewer. Upon completion of the pull request and code review, developer commits the code to the repos. That is our GitHub in our case, or it could be anything uh, that the code repository. So there uh, commit the code. Once it is committed, then our Jenkins comes into the picture and it picks up that uh, code repo from there. And then the pipeline that is built will uh, start acting. So now build gets uh, triggered after every code commit in a repo we will use maven tool for healthy shares app because of javascript then once it is built once it is built on successful build and unit test run build output gets deployed uh, to the targeted environments at this moment our first targeted environment is uh, testing so it will move into the testing environment in the testing environment all testing cases that have been written will be executed once the tests are tests are executed then the test team uh, will will uh, build it. once the build is deployed then the tester starts testing and uh, logs defects if any in con kanban kanban boards or work items then once that is done then if testers are satisfied with the build then build gets promoted to the upper environment what's the upper environment the next upper environment for us is staging then basically all these artifacts after testing it will get back to the uh, artifact uh, repository and it will directly bring into the staging environment now uh, now the pro now the artifact is entered into the staging environment so in staging environment we will do some tests but the most important tests related to the business users the first one is business user starts testing at uat that is user acceptance test environment and in pre-production 
and then any defects observations gets logged in Kanban boards or work items. Upon user satisfaction, build gets promoted for the production environment. That is the ultimate environment because after that we can expose that application to the external users. So now the application has been pushed into the production environment. Once it is pushed into the production environment, it's time for the external users to access it and enjoy the fruits of that application. So with this, we have covered the most of the DevOps and I got I tried to give you the intuitive understanding behind that. For that, I spent huge amount of my resources time and uh, tools and many other aspects i would like you to request enjoy the video and you watch it and you spread a word to your friends so that everybody can get a huge amount of benefit out of it all the best to everybody keep enjoying my videos and keep watching my videos just follow me and subscribe my videos thank you and see you again on another module of i devops for you